नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एंड सी आर टीज लाइफ फोन एंड इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तानवी खुराना एंड इन दिस सोशल साइंस प्रोग्राम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक चैप्टर नंबर वन इंडिया साइज एंड लोकेशन and this is the chapter for all the ninth class students and if you have read this chapter there are any doubts you have in your mind please feel free to give us a call and ask your questions the number is 8800440559 if you want to raise your questions through email then the email id would be dth.class9 @ciet.nic.in and you at this moment watching us live on pm e vidya channel number 9 so all the students please be ready let me introduce you to our today's guest and he is mr pushpendra singh welcome sir thank, thank you so much ma'am so sir is pgt in geography from prudence school ashok vihar new delhi and he'll be answering all your questions all your doubts and we'll be discussing this chapter in detail which is india size and location so let's just ask sir what is this chapter all about and what are its contents that we are going to discuss in this program Sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, basically, if we say India size and location is one chapter, which we begin and we come to know about where India is located, what are its neighbors. So, if we see its uh, chapters content, then India location, its size in the context of the world, and we compare it from the different countries where we rank, and then we India uh, its neighbors. We, uh, which are the neighbors and uh, how we are interacting them so this chapter deals basically with india and its uh, contemporary environment and depending on all the people and uh, we talk about its size and uh, let us see about uh, india but before going there we need to understand that what are its location where it is located and when we talk about the location the first and foremost important thing is that we have to understand that what it its uh, latitudinal and longitudinal location in the world and for that knowing we need to understand that what are latitudes what are longitudes what are the major lines or uh, uh, hemispheres in the world and finding locations with the help of latitudes and longitudes that is the most important thing which we have to do okay so with the help of uh, longitude and latitude we can find the location of a place yeah definitely it is quite possible if we know the grid pattern for example if we say that uh, there is a place which is located at 82 and a half degree hmm. east longitude okay. and it's uh, located at 30 degree uh, north longitude so we will come to that particular place it is angular location through which we can reach that place okay so uh, we are staying in our country which is india um, can you tell us that how can we find the location of india yeah definitely ma'am first of all we need to understand that india is a country which is located in northern hemisphere okay. now when we talk about the hemisphere we need to understand that hemisphere means there are several divisions of the world which has been made for the convenience of the people so if we talk that uh, hemisphere we take prime meridian as the main line which divides the globe into two parts then it is divides the globe into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere whereas if we take equator as another line which divides the globe into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere that means if we say that uh, the globe is divided into four hemisphere and if we talk about india india is located in northern hemisphere and to be specific north eastern hemisphere okay yeah so um like you said that we are going to understand the definition of latitudes and longitudes give us the details what is the layman's definition of these two terms how can we understand them better uh, definitely i would like uh, to uh, tell you that when we talk about the longitude what happens mostly uh, we are uh, dealing with there is a simple concept in a layman's language if i say if i take one uh, orange and if i just cut it or slice it from middle so what will happen it will be simply 
looking and dividing the globe into two parts. So see here, if I, we can see that equator is that line which is that uh, globe into two parts. And this is called latitude. Latitudes, when we talk about, we need to understand these are those imaginary lines which are drawn on the surface of the globe in east and west direction. And they are parallel to equator. Okay. Yes, okay. So uh, you said that we can divide uh, Earth uh, into different hemispheres. Hemispheres. Would you like to explain it further that how is it possible? Yes, definitely, ma'am. As I said that uh, previously also, I said that uh, longitudes, when I say prime meridian and equator are two lines which divide the globe into two hemispheres. Mm -hmm. Those are Eastern Hemisphere and Western Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. If we talk about India, India is located in Northeastern Hemisphere to be specific. And when I say Northeastern Hemisphere, we need to understand that uh, 8 degree North to 37 degree and 6 minute North latitudes India is located. Whereas if we talk about uh, it's a longitudinal location. It is 68 degree, 7 minute uh, eastern longitude to 97 degree, 25 minute eastern longitudes. So that means Indian location, we can say that it is located across these latitudes and longitudes. Okay. So you mentioned a term pre-meridian. Pre -meridian. Prime meridian. Prime meridian. What is that? Uh, prime meridian is that line which divides the globe and all the time of the world is taken from this line. If I say that prime meridian passes from London mm. and uh, it is also known as GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. From here, all the watches of the world are matched. For example, Indian time is 5 or 30 minutes ahead of the London time. So this prime meridian divides the globe and all the uh, watches of the world are matched from this time. Okay. So uh, we, sir has prepared certain slides and let's just understand this whole concept of India size and location with the help of slides. And I would request uh, sir to explain the slide we are looking at at this moment. Okay. So uh, if we see, as I told you, if we take an orange and we cut it, from the between. So what will happen if we are cutting it in the horizontal line? So what will happen? It will make perfect circle. So you see, those are perfect circles, latitudes. So these lines are called latitudes. Whereas if we cut it, slice it from top to bottom, what will happen? It will divide it and it will make, make semi-circles, not the complete circles. So these are called longitudes. So longitude and uh, latitudes, these are two things which we must understand first. Okay. And uh, what are we seeing here? Uh, yes, here we are able to see the entire latitudinal and longitudinal grid pattern. The entire world is divided into these latitude and longitude through these only we are able to locate the exact location of a place. Okay. And if we see here, latitudes, they run in east and west direction. And zero degree latitude, that means which we call equator, is the largest possible circle which can be made. After that, we it will reduce in the size. And if we see here, here, uh, latitudes are running across the globe and it is a grid pattern of latitude and longitude through which we come to know about the time, duration and the exact location of a place. So uh, this, these are latitudes. So number of latitude from zero degree till north pole. That means their number if we count. So its number should be 180. But because poles are points that's why we do not take them as line we take them as only points and that's why their number is 179 there are 179 degrees or you can say latitudes whereas when we talk about longitudes so weapons longitudes are those lines which join both poles North Pole and South Pole and they make semicircle. 
and what happens in these semicircles if you are able to see the prime meridian in between these lines this is zero degree prime meridian and in the both if we convert the globe three dimensional globe into a two dimensional surface that means map what will happen we will be able to see that this map has exactly 180 degree east and 180 degree west longitude uh, longitudes so what happens in entire if we say there are 360 longitudes and uh, these longitudes if i say uh, one is the prime meridian and another just opposite to prime meridian is uh, international date line this date line is really important and it just changes the time and date of the world if we see 180 degree east and west line is the same line which uh, if I say uh, it passes from uh, uh, north uh, east of Japan and there are other places there so it passes from there if we are going from India to America from Japan side so what will happen it will change the duration of time what will happen if we are going from India to America if we will gain one day and if we are coming from America to India we will lose one day this is a time concept which we have so if someone says that we cannot live the same day twice so it is quite possible that we can live the same day twice okay that's a very interesting concept yes ma'am and uh, this is a concept which has been derived by these grid patterns okay. what happens at every degree we have drawn these are these imaginary lines and every line has a value of four minutes so one degree is equal to four minutes if we multiply it so for example it is 60 minutes 60 degrees so 60 into 4 240 minutes and we divide into uh, so we we'll get the hours for example if we take about talk about india indian uh line, ist indian standard timeline it passes from uh uh, what you call Mirzapur and uh, it is 82 and a half degree east of prime meridian and what happens because of this we multiply 82.5 into 4 so we get approximately 330 degree and what happens this 330 we divide from 60 so 5 or 30 minutes time difference we get okay okay yeah. that's the calculation i'm not, i don't think that uh, students are aware of aware of yeah now, what happens uh, because students are not told so they are not able to understand in contemporary world when where we are living we must be aware of these concepts uh, nowadays we are going to uh, different countries so we if we are aware about these concepts we will be able to understand and to uh, meet the challenges whatsoever comes in our daily life okay okay so we have another uh, picture on our screen and let's just uh, understand what this picture says so this presentation this particular slide uh, we are seeing on the screen at this moment and uh, the presentation please okay so <clears throat> So if we see the prime meridian and zero degree and is this I have just explained just right now explained that how from zero degree 180 degree east and west is the that line which changes the time of that place which I just explained. Okay. So this is international date line and if we see this so we will be able from uh, America to Asia gain one day Asia to America lose one day. So, the combining latitude and longitude, any location can be pointed, can be, uh, we reach that area. For example, where we are sitting in Delhi, it has a particular location, it has a particular latitude and longitude. In Google, if we search and in the map, we find out that location very easily that this uh, place is located in these coordinates. So, that is really important and uh, to know present situation where we are using GPS technology and we are using global positioning system so it creates a many to know all these things and these are concepts which are we are using in daily life that's why it is important to know these concepts absolutely so we have uh, 
a locations coordinating and uh, presentation says there's a picture okay so we are uh, in this picture we have to see that where detroit is located detroit is one city which is located in the different latitudes and longitudes if we see 40 degree north and 83 degree west longitude it is located in those coordinates so easily we can see that red dot is telling about this okay and these are the four hemisphere which i was talking about if you see these uh, we apply this uh, knowledge so we will be able to know that these are the particular hemisphere whenever we have to see normally what happens we say that global north and global south because it is being used in uh, common language and that's why we are able to say that but we need to understand we have to be specific in geography about the coordinates of india and when we say that where india is located so we need to understand that that india is located in the northern hemisphere and to be specific north eastern hemisphere which is a degree north and 37 and 6 degree uh, in north northern hemisphere both are in north okay so here uh, the picture we are seeing is this the world map we are seeing yeah in context of world where india is located in the world map that need to be understood that was the most important thing which we have to focus on okay so i know that india is one of the oldest civilization remarkable history after independence even now we are just one of the most strongest country in the world contemporary politics so indian importance is increasing day by day so that's why we need to understand where india is located what is its political situation how it is located which are the countries which are surrounding us how in terms of area and population we are differing from different other countries for example if i say uh, that india is the seventh largest country in terms of area that means the first country which is russia then we have canada usa china uh, then we have uh, brazil australia and then comes india india is the seventh largest country but it accounts only for 2.4% of the world area in terms of area so that is important to know and despite having this much small area what happens we have world's second largest population that is also important because we need to understand the resources which we are going to utilize okay so uh, does it matter that uh 2.4 percent of the area but the people are more here and in comparison to let's say russia um, which has the maximum uh, land but their population is a lot less in comparison to india so um, is there any difference between these two uh, definitely it is a uh, because when resources are there uh, whether it will be a developed country or developing country or we can say underdeveloped country it depends that what is the land and human ratio which is important for any country to develop so for india it is important because uh, at present if we see that our size is less in comparison the population is growing at a faster pace hmm. so we need to understand these things okay and uh, if i say uh, in terms of area whatever we have said uh, india is one such country which has immense potential hmm. and india is surrounded by different nations if i say its neighbors so we start counting from pakistan china we have nepal we have bhutan we have myanmar we have bangladesh then we have southern ocean neighbors also sri lanka and maldives right so these countries are our neighboring countries and china hmm. so uh, this becomes important india shares a, a long and a boundary land boundary with pakistan and china and bangladesh which becomes important and critical for india to develop its strategy also so as a student of geography we need to understand these topics also okay so uh, when we uh, divide countries we divide the land but what about water who rules on water which part of uh, ocean goes to which country who decides that how how 
Uh, uh, is that possible? Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, there are international convention, United Nations organizations also uh, uh, means uh, tells the countries that where you have to go. For example, if I say that for India, it is 12 nautical miles from the coastline where it is Indian territorial water. Okay. After that, it becomes EEZ and economic zones begins, in which India can exploit the resources, but India cannot stop other countries to enter there. Whereas ter in territorial water, we can stop any country from entering. No country's ship can enter in Indian water without our permission. So this is important for any country because uh, we know that oceans have huge resources right. and which are really important for uh, development of a nation. So this becomes really important part. Okay, okay. And uh, let's discuss more about India's location. And uh, there are four points in this particular slide. Would you like to highlight these? Yeah, if we say the same thing, these locations we have talked about that uh, India has a location and uh, it is 68 degrees 7 minute east longitude to 97 degree 25 minute east longitude and this longitude if we see that India is a little taller on the end whereas its width is less how come if we say so uh, in the uh, eastern between these two longitudes uh, the length of India is only 29-33 kilometer whereas when we talk about the longitudinal distance of India, because India is located and it's bending slightly, that's why what happens, the location or the length of India, it becomes 32, uh, 3200 kilometer, more than 3200 kilometer. So that means it increases the size, despite both areas are 30, almost 30 degree uh, apart from each other. So, it is important for us to know that latitudinal and longitudinal location of India. Okay, and, and the third point says in southeast, Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie in Bay of Bengal. Yes, ma'am. If you see that in India, India is surrounded by three seas. Hmm. So, on the eastern side, we have uh, Bay of Bengal. On the western side, we have Arabian Sea. Whereas, in the southern, we have Southern Ocean or Indian Ocean. So these oceans are also known for having island groups. So in the eastern part, in the Bay of Bengal, we have uh, Andaman and Nicobar island group. Whereas on the western part, we have Arabians in Arabian Sea, Lakshadweep island groups. So okay. this is important for us. These islands are known for its diversity. Okay. So India has a lot of variety, it has islands, uh, it has waters and uh, the land, we have a good portion of land in the entire world. Yes. So uh, this is a very interesting conversation going on but because of the lack of time we cannot uh, continue it further but maybe we'll take it up in the next part very very soon. Uh, so for now, thank you so much sir for being a part of this program and sharing so much information regarding the size and location of India. Thank you so much. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you to all the viewers for watching this session. I really hope that you enjoyed it. For any more information, you can raise your questions and uh, you can ask. You can ask through our email ID, which is dth.class9 at the rate cit.nic.in. We'll always wait for your questions. So that's the end of this program, but we'll come back again very, very soon. And uh, that will be our special program of webinar. So stay here, keep your questions ready and take great care of yourself. Tanvi Kurana signing off here. Namaskar.